Welcome to the Rink Report presented by Telhio Credit Union. I'm Dylan Tire here with you ahead of tonight's action between the Blue Jackets and the Washington Capitals. Tonight's game also being presented by Visit Central Florida. The Blue Jackets looking for their fourth straight victory in this one tonight against Washington. Coming off of a 4-1 to win last night in Ottawa, highlighted by two goals from Blue Jackets centerman Jack Roslevic. And after the game, he said he likes the way his game is coming along over the course of the last month. You know, I... I'd say, you know, it wasn't even this game. I think the last, you know, 15 games, and I, I don't think I really had, you know, too much point production. But, you know, I just feel uh, more patient with it, um, more calm, and, um, you know, I, I feel like, you know, I'm developing like all those all those skills that I, you know that that will, you know, boost boost me up, and you know, eventually, uh, you know, the the points and the stats will come. But, you know, it's uh, it's all about. Uh, really working on that defensive game and, and uh, playing the long game. With tonight being St. Patrick's Day, we decided to put the Blue Jackets to the test and see how many green items they could name in 15 seconds. Okay. Grass, uh, a green leaf, bush. Green items, I don't know. Uh, uh, I, th I think that's it right now. I don't have anything else. Ready, set. Uh, money, grass, a couple guys have green suits, um, the, like the leaf, like the St. Patrick's Day leaf, clover, um, Time. that's it, eh? Uh, broccolini, asparagus, leaves, uh, grass, money, Minnesota Wild jersey, Dallas Star jersey, my hat, uh, my case, money. Yeah, I guess we could. Big win there for Vladislav Gavrikov, and now it's time to shift focus to tonight's game between the Blue Jackets and the Washington Capitals. And for more on all the action, here's Bob McElligot and John Luke Grandpierre. Blue Jackets coming into this game tonight after the win in Ottawa last night. John Luke, Jack Roslovic with two goals in that game. The Blue Jackets needed somebody to step up at center with Boone Jenner out, and Jack has taken on that role. Yes, and it's a great opportunity for Jack Roslovic, and he's really stepped it up, especially over the last couple of games. But for me, as we look at the two goals in Ottawa, that second one was Boone-like, in front of that, taking some cross-checks, turning around and getting that rebound. I love that part of his game that he's bringing in now. We know about the skill process, but playing center sometimes, it's not always pretty, and right now he's showing a little grit as well. Cole Sillinger is also picking up his game. He had the hat trick here on Sunday against Vegas. Again, you don't have to do that every night, but you just have to be solid. That's what Cole's done. Yes, that's what he's been doing, and you can see Cole Sillinger. He, he, he has skills, but he's not that superstar like a Patrick Kane that you think is going to come in the league and score 30 goals his first season. But he's been learning the defensive side of the puck, but it's nice to see him get some offense with a hat trick like that. Obviously, we know the offensive upside is there as well, but you can see him slowly but surely getting gaining that confidence. The Blue Jackets are pretty much in playoff mode right now. They are chasing the Washington Capitals, but there's still a big gap in points. They have a chance to lessen that gap a little bit here tonight. But at this time of the year, for a team this young, isn't it nice to be in the conversation? It's nice to be in the conversation. It's nice to be in the chase because when you're really, really low in the standing, it's kind of like, yeah, you're playing for a contract. You're playing for the future. But it's nice to be in that middle of the back, like you said right now. They're chasing uh, the Washington Capitals. And Washington is very healthy. Unlike the Vegas Golden Knight that was there a couple of days ago, Washington, all the big boys are back, so it's not going to be an easy one. Yeah, Oshie, Backstrom, and Alex Ovechkin, who just two nights ago passed Yarmir Yager for uh, number three on the all-time goal scored list. Yes, and uh, what an achievement. 767 goals, I believe. Incredible. So he's the number one European goal scorer right now. Next on the list, I believe, is Gordie Howe. That is right. <laughs> is it going to take a little bit more than just the luck of the Irish here tonight? For the Blue Jackets, I think, uh, listen, you played last night. Washington's been sitting in Columbus waiting for you, but strong start is definitely going to help. We know the Blue Jackets are number one team as far as coming from behind, so I'm not too worried, but you want to keep it tight. All right, that's the way we see it. For John luc Grandpierre, I'm Bob McElligot. Dylan, back to you. That'll do it for the Rink Report presented by Tell Ohio Credit Union. For Bob McElligot and John luc Grandpierre, I'm Dylan Tyre wishing you a happy St. Paddy's Day and saying enjoy the game.